Hello, so I want to show you quickly what you can do with the Chip Whisperer light. So I have a Chip Whisperer light board here, and I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Uh, find the cable. Alright, so this light here will start blinking, and I'll just run a script from the software side. So this is the Chip Whisperer capture software and this will download the bitstream to the FPGA so you can see this light starts flashing here and we can start actually doing uh, acquisitions of power traces right away so let me turn off the camera and what we have is we're sending data to the X mega device and it's being encrypted with AES 128 so every time I hit this button it's sending a new piece of random input data so you can see the data going in and this is the data that has been encrypted with some secret key in this case we know the key so you can see for example if I tell it to always send the same data so now it's sending fixed data so you see that this text in doesn't change you'll notice that the the power trace looks fairly constant if I tell it to use random input data You'll notice that the power trace, for example, if we really focus in on like this area, uh, you can see it changing quite a bit. Whereas when it's fixed, it's not changing as much. So that's sort of showing you very briefly how you can see the differences in power consumption based just on the data. So this is what we'll use to actually break the uh, AES system. So before I run that full demo, I'll just show you some of the other features so uh, you can do stuff like the gain is all variable everything is easily controlled through the GUI so you can see I'm adding additional gain uh, we can change things like the pin states so it has a complete system for generating the output frequency so I've dialed in a 7.37 megahertz clock um, all this is pre-configured so this is just sort of advanced features if you need them um, all right, so back to the sort of example. So what I'll do is I'll tell it to record 50 traces, and I just hit this button, and so it's sending 50 different random input data to the device and recording the power as it encrypted them. So let's save that, and I'll just say test, you know, AES Live 22. So I just saved the project, and then I'm gonna run what's called the analyzer software and I'll open that project up again so all I'm doing is I'm loading all that data I just saved um, here we go so here's the data I saved and at this point what I'll do is I'll just run a attack against it so I'm just gonna use a standard attack and I'll tell it to report every two traces so it's going to try adding two traces at a time and I'll enable a slightly faster attack and you can see that very quickly the correct key byte is highlighted in red and it's going to start to filter to the top as the system was able to completely recover uh, the AES key so this is doing a complete power analysis attack against a software implementation of AES 128 and you can see it's still looking for one of those key bytes, so I might have had to tune, oh, there it is, uh, tune some of the parameters, but let's see, there we go. So there, and took about 48 traces, it's completely recovered. Uh, this key, this 2B70, 15, 16, etc. This was, uh, if we go back to the capture system, this was the key that I was setting in the device. So if I change this encryption key here, um, the, eventually the analysis would recover the changed key. Uh, so yeah, that's a really quick example of what you can do with the Chip Whisperer Lite. Uh, in this case, I've programmed the XMAGA with uh, AES-128 and then broken that. But there'll be examples of other uh, attacks and other algorithms. And everything's programmed, so the XMAGA itself uh, there's a built-in programmer in this, so you know it only takes if I want to change it. You can see it does all the programming in a few seconds. So that's sort of the some of the current features in the Chip Whisperer Lite. And thanks again for supporting the Kickstarter.